morning, everyone, and welcome to a new semester, a new year, 2021. Everything's going to be very different. We are in the organ system-based modules part of our preclinical learning experience, which means that we're going to be learning in chunks of everything that has to go over organ systems. So we're going to be learning about all the pathology, physiology, and all that stuff for cardio at once, and then for pulmonary at once, and then for neuro at once. So very system-based. This first module system that we're gonna be doing is called the HIP module. So if I say HIP, I'm basically referring to hematology and introduction to pathology. That's what HIP stands for. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of heme and HIP for the next four weeks. So we're gonna be using a lot of Pathoma and you'll see that book a lot. Pathoma is basically the gold standard for pathology. So we're gonna get running with that. It's 6.30 in the morning. I think I'm gonna get a few of the Anki do's that I have done out of the way so I can start with a clean slate on Anki this morning on the new material that I'm learning through Pathoma. But first I'm gonna need a cup of coffee, sit down and get those Anki cards done and I will talk to you guys soon. All right guys, so I've just finished my Aki Dues for today, and now I'm gonna get started with the brand new HIP module. We're gonna break into our Pathoma textbook, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later, but first, I'm gonna grab some breakfast, get some eggs, and my Teamy Greens drink. All right guys, so I am done with Pathoma for today after five videos. Um, and speaking of Pathoma, what that basically is, is a textbook done by Dr. Sitar, which is beautifully done and condensed pathology basically. It's the gold standard for a step one board exam for medical students and his videos basically go into more depth over the textbook and he just has this re really amazing gift of teaching. Uh, so I'm really enjoying it so far. So this is the book. Um, it's actually not that thick as you can see, but it's really condensed information. So um, what we did is, so the module I'm in is, if you remember, is called HIP, Hematology Introduction to Pathology. So we're doing basically the first six chapters over basic pathology in this module. And so I've been basically taking notes and just highlighting some more notes on other videos than others, but it's been pretty good so far. And then I did some checking for things that were kind of weird to me or I didn't understand that well in my first aid book. And I have a little bit more time because I did the Anki cards already for Pathoma. So what I'm gonna do is go through some Board and Beyond's videos over the same topics just to get a second run through, different viewpoint. And there is quite a bit of overlap between the Pathology, Board and Beyond, and Pathoma Anki cards. Um, so there won't be too much extra to do if I decide to do the Aki cards for that. But right now I'm still learning, but now I'm relearning how to learn again because this is so different than foundations. Um, so we'll play by ear and see how much I can handle, uh, see how much I can push myself without burning out basically and making sure I'm maintaining mentally healthy. So after I get boards and beyond done, I'm going to probably make some dumplings or either shower or something to take care of myself. And this is probably gonna be the last time I talk to you guys until tomorrow, so I'll see y'all then. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, and today started off with a GYN and GU lecture, and GYN stands for gynecology, GU stands for genitourinary, and those physical exams are a little bit more personal. Patients can tend to feel vulnerable when having those exams done, um, so we won't be actually doing those on real patients or standardized patients until a while from now. We're gonna be just doing them on mannequins when we go in, but it was at least nice to have 
have an intro to what we'd be doing later on. It's kind of late right now. The major beginning portion of the day uh, was spent wasting time. Um, a lot of that was my fault. Most of it was my fault. Um, kind of procrastinating, doing anything other than school. But I did get most of my Anki done. Actually, I got all of my Anki dues done. So about 400 something cards. Oh, and uh, this shirt I got for Christmas. And I got a few other nerdy kind of med school gifts for Christmas that I really loved and thought you guys might appreciate if I showed you. So I'm gonna show you guys that later. But for right now, I gotta catch up with some Pathoma, take my teamy greens with me, and I will talk to you guys later. Alright, so as you guys know, I've been mostly doing Pathoma, but I'm also going to be doing some Board and Beyond videos um, as I can, but Pathoma is first priority for pathology, um, but I'm going to try to do my second passes when I have time with Board and Beyond. So in the green is Boards and Beyond. Cellular adaptations is overlapping a lot of the same stuff with growth adaptations from Pathoma. Um, so a lot of the cards from Anki overlap, so there's only 27 I need to do additionally when I watch the Board and Beyond the video. Um, so hopefully it's not too much extra work since there's a lot of overlap, but just has a good second pass. And so um, uh, this is actually from a MS2 from an earlier year, and I'm going to basically kind of adjust it and adapt uh, the schedule to my own needs. Um, but this is the first, these are the first two days, Monday and Tuesday of the block. And this is what we've got going. And uh, these are practice questions at the bottom. And I will try to get some done later tonight. Uh, he did about 14. So let's see if I can get those 14 done. Hey everyone, so it is Wednesday morning. I got a few Anki cards done. It is about to be 10 a.m. And we have our first PBL ever. Um, you guys remember from last semester, we did TBLs, which is team-based learning. But this is PBL, which stands for problem-based learning. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes afterwards. Here's my setup, and I will see you guys later. All right, so I just finished my first session of PBL, and I actually really like it so far. What PBL is, to me, is it's basically a case uh, that's locked until the session starts, so you have no idea what the case is going to be, so you can't do any previous research. And you have this information of a patient who's come in with some problems, um, a little bit of a background of where they work and what's been going on in their lives recently Just different things. Sometimes the patient might show up unconscious So you have to get that information from someone else and as you progress through it you and your group would basically pick out the problems you initially see and Put them in a list and there's different ways to approach it But we put them in a list and then we kind of go from there on what other questions we would like and as we try to acquire more information to solve the case the facilitator will unlock more pages for us to review so it's like a real-life scenario you're not gonna get all the information you need at once and you're gonna try to have to tease and figure out more of that on your own so PBL is two times a week so at the end of the first PBL that would usually be the end of part one and usually PBLs have two parts I think but this one has three so at the end of the first PBL we had a list of learning problems Problems, things that we weren't super sure on um, the method of action of different drugs maybe different types of pathological mechanisms that we're not super sure of so we take the time in between those PBL sessions to look those up come back present those learning issues find out what we've learned try to add more to the case and we kind of keep going with that case until we come to more of a solidified cause of problem, how to treat it and how to go for it from there. But for right now, it's lunchtime. It's around it's around 12, 24, and I'm gonna make some dumplings, uh, sit down for a bit and relax before I jump right into Pathoma. psychosis or seizures. Uh, the eighth, so that's, they could get both a combination of nephrotic and nephrotic syndrome. They could have no damage to the kidney. All right, everyone. So I finished the last Pathoma video for today. 
Um, I know I haven't filmed too much today. And I know I said I would show you guys my Christmas presents that I got, and I promise I will eventually, at some point in this video, I will, either tomorrow or Friday. Um, but today is Wednesday, January 6th, and if you kind of remember what happened today in our capital, um, Wednesday, January 6th, 2021, uh, it's not something that I took lightly, and um, it was a little mentally taxing today, kind of like election day was, or election week, honestly. Um, so. I was kind of out of it today and just tried to push through and get done what I need to get done today for school and hopefully I didn't let you guys down too much with that. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I'll feel better and get some more content for you guys. Okay guys, so it's Thursday morning and I just got done with my Anki. Um, it was about 397 cards, I think, and that was my dues. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with Pathoma. But I'm gonna go and do that at the coffee shop with a med school buddy. You've seen him in other videos. And I knew I said I would tell you guys about my Christmas presents, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So you guys saw my Adidas black jacket, and that was one of my Christmas gifts. I also got, I got this, well, this watch is actually um, an older watch, like this part right here, but I got new straps because this watch the watch straps on the older one was broken for a long time. And then I got kind of like sticky pad notes, first aid sticky pad notes, which kind of like, look, that's ointment. <laughs> that is a Band-Aid uh, and another bandage here. And these are just kind of nice. I guess if you want to mark something in a book, uh, make something obvious to find. And I also got, they are basically syringes that are highlighters so i thought these are really cool can never have enough highlighters and then i got some house slippers that i've already got some wear into uh, i've been wearing these like every day since christmas day and then giant microbes one of my favorite gifts from christmas so if you guys remember i was doing sketchy micro and sketchy farm and a lot of uh, microbes we had to learn about in block three and this is basically a collection of different microbe stuffed animals. So they're like beanie babies, but for microbiology. And on the front it says, giant microbes a million times the actual size. And in this box we have Ebola, toxic mold, anthrax, TB, and brain-eating amoeba. And in the front it says, biohazards for anyone with a healthy sense of humor, which I do happen to have. And this is, if you could guess what it is, I'm gonna pause. This is anthrax. This is um, this is the shape of the anthrax, and they use this um, unfortunately as kind of biological terrorism. And they put them in envelopes and send them to senators and things back in um, early 2000s, which was a scare. Uh, but this is anthrax, and then we have you guys. Guess what this is? This is a pretty popular one. As a hint, you get tested for this a lot when you work in a clinical setting. This is TB, yeah. Mycobacterium tuberculosis bacteria, which causes tuberculosis. As a hint, this one is a virus and it was first found in Africa. This is Ebola. And this is the last one I haven't mentioned. It's the brain-eating amoeba. Uh, this is just one of its forms, as you guys know, or maybe not know. Parasites can take multiple forms depending on where it's at. They actually sell a whole collection of a bunch of different ones. Uh, some of the ones I didn't mention, but I really want to get is like Canada albicans. Streptococcus pyogenes, and there's just, there's a bunch, and I think I'm gonna go get some more and probably add to my collection. But for right now, I gotta go ahead to the coffee shop to get some work done, and I'll see you guys there. All right, everyone, I've made it back from the coffee shop. I have uh, uh, two more Born and Beyond videos that I wanna get done, which is my second pass of the material, so hopefully it doesn't go by too slowly. And after I get that done, I'm gonna be doing the Anki cards for that. But I need to do some practice questions because I've been slacking on that this week. Um, I've only been able to do a few a day and I wanna try to get more in. Tomorrow we have a practice CVSE which is basically like a practice step exam. It's like the first ever practice. We're gonna kind of get a baseline. So one and a half years from now, we can see how far we've come as far as score wise. It's gonna be from eight to 3 p.m. 
Um, and I don't know if it's the full length exam. I don't think it's a full length. Um, I'm not sure. I have to check that. Um, but it's not graded, so I'm not stressing all out about it too much, and I'm not really studying for it specifically. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning where I will try to wake up at 6 a.m. and get some Anki cards done before this long CBSC exam. See you then, and then wish me luck. Alright guys, so I just finished my, actually not just finished, I finished my um, practice CBSC, which was a, I guess you could say, practice exam for STEP. Um, it really was just to get a baseline and most of it that we were tested over, we had never been taught. Um, but there was like a silver lining because a lot of the words I knew, I just didn't know what to do with them quite yet because I've only been went through one semester of med school. Um, so I guess you could say that's a decently good thing, um, but no one's really expected to pass. It's really just a baseline. But even though that CBSE took up a big chunk of my day, I still have to do Anki and some Pathoma. So that's what I'm currently doing right now, and I will have a little bit more to go. Um, so I need to get that done before closing out Friday, so let's get that done. So what I basically just finished watching a video of was uh, an intro to the principles of neoplasia, um, which is the process by which cancer cells uh, grow. And cancer, I would say, um, as far as like big clinical topics go, is probably where I'm lacking the most um, clinical knowledge. So I'm pretty excited uh, to get to know more about uh, the principles of cancer. And right now that was just an intro, but the next video I'm going to watch is over carcinogenesis. Um, and uh, the, the Neoplasia chapter is fairly long, um, so I'll have some work to do. So you're gonna see me doing a lot of that next week, and next week I also have my first skill session in person. So we're gonna be doing on Monday a pulmonary skill session where we're gonna go on in the simulation clinics and do physical exams for that. So I'm really excited for that. Get to put on the white coat and actually leave the apartment and i'm going to keep taking you guys with me and we're going to keep learning and growing and you're going to see the highs you're going to see the lows and we will keep pushing until we get that md um, but until then i'll see you guys later on the very next episode of medhead